Understanding the distinction between aggressive and protective behavior in dogs is crucial for responsible pet ownership. While both can involve similar displays of teeth, growling, or barking, the underlying motivations and consequences are vastly different. This video will delve into the characteristics of each behavior, offering insights to help you identify and address potential issues. Protective behavior, a natural instinct. Protective behavior is a natural instinct in many dogs. It stems from a deep-rooted desire to safeguard their pack, which includes their human family. A protective dog is essentially acting as a guardian, assessing potential threats and responding accordingly. Common signs of protective behavior include 1. Alertness. A protective dog is often vigilant, monitoring their surroundings closely. 2. Focus on the perceived threat. They direct their attention towards the individual or situation they perceive as dangerous. 3. Body language. While they may exhibit assertive posturing, such as a stiff body or raised hackles, their overall demeanor often remains calm and controlled. 4. Warning signals. Growling, barking, or snapping can be used as clear communication to deter potential threats. 5. Return to normal. Once the perceived threat is gone, a protective dog typically relaxes and resumes normal behavior. It's important to note that protective behavior is not inherently negative. Many dogs can be both protective and friendly, offering a sense of security to their owners without posing a risk to others. However, when protective behavior becomes excessive or uncontrolled, it can escalate into aggression. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Aggressive behavior, a complex issue. Aggressive behavior in dogs is a complex issue with various underlying causes. It can manifest in different forms, including fear-based aggression, dominance aggression, territorial aggression, and resource guarding. Unlike protective behavior, aggression often involves a loss of control and can result in serious injuries. Common signs of aggressive behavior include 1. Intense staring, a fixed, hard gaze directed at a person or animal. 2. Stiff body language, a rigid posture, with the dog appearing tense and ready to attack. 3. Offensive posturing, lunging, snapping, or biting without clear warning signals. 4. Escalating aggression. Behaviors that progressively worsen over time, such as increasing intensity of growls or barks. 5. Redirection. Aggression directed towards a third party, such as a family member, when feeling threatened. Aggressive behavior should never be tolerated or dismissed as normal. It requires professional guidance and training to address the root causes and prevent incidents. Distinguishing between protection and aggression. Differentiating between protective and aggressive behavior can be challenging, especially in the heat of the moment. However, there are key distinctions to consider. 1. Motivation. Protective behavior is driven by a desire to protect, while aggression often stems from fear, frustration, or a perceived threat to resources. Protective dogs generally maintain control over their behavior, using warning signals before escalating. Aggressive dogs may exhibit a loss of control and escalate quickly. Protective behavior is typically directed towards perceived threats, while aggression can be aimed at anyone or anything that triggers the dog's fear or frustration. Protective behavior aims to deter threats without causing harm, while aggression can result in injuries. If you are concerned about your dog's behavior, whether it's protective or aggressive, seeking professional help is essential. A qualified dog trainer or behaviorist can assess the situation, provide guidance, and develop a tailored behavior modification plan. Remember, prevention is key. Early socialization and training can help prevent both protective and aggressive behaviors from developing. By understanding the differences between these two behaviors, 
you can take proactive steps to ensure the safety and well-being of your dog and those around them. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.